What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. Just want to take a quick second to remind you guys or let you know if you haven't heard that I recently put out a video called Video and Content Recommendations inside of a unique playlist called video and content recommendations and what this video does is it serves as a hub for you all to submit your content requests whether it be reaction videos whether it be posts whether it be general topic ideas you can submit your ideas and your requests right there in the comment section of that video moving forward from this point on I will paste a link to the content and video recommendation video in every new video description I do moving forward so you can have multiple ways of accessing it quickly and efficiently. I cannot wait to see this movie. I am super stoked for this movie like you have no idea. Unfortunately, because I live in Japan, I won't be able to see this for a long time in movie theaters, but before it gets released in theaters to Japan, I should be able to rent or purchase it on Amazon Prime and be able to um, stream it from the comfort of my living room. Matt Damon directs this along with Ben Affleck. And I think Ben Affleck is a fantastic director. He's put out some great stuff in my opinion. And I also think Ben Affleck is a great actor. And Ben Affleck has my favorite Batman. Not Bruce Wayne, he's not my favorite Bruce Wayne. But just as far as in the cowl, in, in the costume, he's my favorite Batman. In Batman vs. Superman, he was badass. In Justice League the Snyder Cut, he was badass. And I can't wait to see him play Batman in the new Flash movie coming out this summer. <clears throat> Big Bat Batman's my favorite superhero man. Big Batman fan. But I will God I love Affleck. Batfleck. I love Batfleck. I do, I do, I do. Anyway, let's get into this reaction video and then uh, talk about it after. Michael Jordan is one of the most prominent names on the planet. Since he isn't too keen on public appearances, even a glimpse of his airness causes a frenzy among fans. Furthermore, it's safe to say that many people are scared of displeasing MJ. <laughs> if he sets his sight on something, then his demands are usually met. That was again the case when Hollywood star Ben Affleck sat down with the six-time NBA champion to discuss a movie centered around MJ's deal with Nike. Air is an upcoming movie by filmmaker Ben Affleck and actor Matt Damon's new company, Artists' Equity. It is a biographical film that follows the long-standing partnership between Michael Jordan and Nike. We are introduced to Jordan's mother, a resolute woman who recognizes her son's unparalleled talent and refuses to compromise on his potential. The story follows the rise of Jordan, who eventually solidifies his position as the greatest of all time. While developing ideas with Jordan, Affleck faced a challenging demand that made him anxious. In an interview for Jimmy Kimmel, Affleck described the intimidating moment he dealt with the greatest basketball player of all time. You, uh, at his suggestion, had Viola Davis play his mom, Dolores Jordan. Suggestion, yeah. Uh, sug I had his, I, <laughs> his insistence. I feel like Michael makes suggestions. <laughs> I don't know. I can't pretend to be, uh, I'm going to sit here and act like, yeah, we're friends. Like, I'm totally intimidated by him, and I don't know. I'm running to him a couple of times, and I was going to do the movie, and I was like, listen. Could I sit down with you and just for an hour because I'd like to talk to you about this thing. I got this script, and if you don't want me to do it, I just won't do it. Forget it. Like, just from a respect point of view and also a self-preservation. But I can't think of anything stupider than making this movie and Michael Jordan be like, this is b right, You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> I got to pause. <laughs> Bro, you can see the utmost respect and fear that Ben Affleck has for Michael Jordan. That is the ultimate respect. Everything that he just said so far in a portion of this interview is you that that's that's respect. <laughs> Michael Jordan's reclusiveness on top of his his history, his airness, his greatness has definitely turned him into like this deity almost where if you come within the presence of Michael it's just like it's it's just like it's 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 like otherworldly. It's like an outer body experience. That's what everybody has always said about coming within the presence of Michael Jordan. Yeah. So I I said, look, and, and once he seemed 
open to it. I was like, look, I have to, you know, it's, it's really ultimately kind of a fable and there's gonna change stuff and we have to make it into a, a dramatic story. But what are the things that are fundamentally important to you mm -hmm. and that are like, absolutely, you cannot violate these truths because I will not. And he's it, very telling me he wasn't about like, I did this, I did, he, he talked about other people. And he talked about his mom. Yeah. And this is a guy who's so intimidating, so powerful. So like just sitting across from you, you just feel kind of like, ah, uh, you know, and, and he I just said that. Of, of kind of reverence and all he talked about his mother, and what she meant and how he, he was like, I didn't want to go to org. I would have signed away my rights for red Mercedes for life. That I'm red Mercedes. Like, really? He's like, yeah. My mom told me this is, you know, hey, my mom went to the bank, you know, and he talked about such respect. I said, she sounds fascinating. Wow, do you think I could call her up? And he was like, you could try. Then I made the classic error of saying, so who do you think might be? It has to be Viola Davis. I was like, it does have to be Viola Davis. Despite the movie being centered <laughs> around Michael Jordan. Uh, I think Viola Davis is a fantastic actress. That woman can act her ass off. Shout out to Viola Davis. He does not appear in the film. And Affleck, the director of the movie, explained why. I just was never going to show Jordan because he's just too famous, too meaningful. I try to show you somebody that's not Michael Jordan and convince you, like, that's Michael Jordan. You did it very Media, cleverly. You're going to go, work. well, it's all going to see him from the <laughs> back. He's just like, you know, in the ether. Yeah, you see the back of it, you know, but it's like, it's about all the people around him. He's kind of too, too big for it in a way, you know, and it, it, you bring to it your imagination. We show clips of the real Michael Jordan doing what is unmistakably him. Because, like, you try to fake that, you take out away from what it, what is he really does mean, which is extraordinary. Air isn't told from the perspective of Jordan, mm. but from the perspective of Sonny Vaccaro. Sonny Vaccaro is the marketing executive that pushed Jordan to start his own exclusive line of shoes. This gives the audience an insight into the lives of those who brought Air Jordans to life. There was already great buzz, but critics still needed to offer their early reviews on it. The general consensus is overwhelmingly positive, and it's even aiming to become one of next year's favorites during award season. One of the critics is even calling for Matt Damon's imminent Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Sonny Vaccaro, who was the one who landed the contract. Affleck plays Nike founder Phil Knight, and both of them wrote the script. Other movie stars who appears on the film are Viola Davis as Jordan's mother, Chris Tucker, Marlon Chris Tucker. Wayans, Jason Bateman, and Jessica Green. Ooh. The movie is set to release on the 5th of April, 2023. With a strong supporting cast, Air will hopefully present a truthful and enjoyable account of Nike's pursuit of a legend. Dude, I like I, I like that they brought in Chris Tucker and, and Marlon Wayans. It's good to see those guys again on the big screen. It's been a while, for me anyway. I, I don't think any of the Wayans brothers that I can think of and Chris Tucker has been on a and then in and, and the box office in a hot minute. Not not that I can recall. And and I follow movies closely. Fun fact, you guys didn't know this. Originally, before I started my YouTube endeavors, you know, I was what I, what I wanted to do. Uh, I I wanted to do a a movie. I wanted to do a movie, movie, be a movie critic on YouTube, critique movies, break them down, all that kind of stuff. I, I love film. And then, you know, but during the pandemic, it was the beginning of the pandemic and they weren't showing any new things. I didn't really feel like going through a lot of old movies. I wanted to review things that were more new. So then I went into video gaming, streaming, content creating, and then now I'm doing this. So here I am and I'm having so much fun right now with this. It's, 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 it's more my speed as far as content creating. But anyway. I really want to see this movie so bad. I'm, I'm sad I can't watch it in the theaters in the United States here in the next couple days. Um, but are you looking forward to this movie? I know there have been some early screening and early releases in some areas. I saw people on social media say that they've seen it and they thought the movie was absolutely incredible and it will definitely be up for an Oscar um, next year is what I'm hearing. So I'm happy to hear that. But yeah, man, I'm super excited about this movie. Um, do you own any Jays? Any Jordan brand shoes? Have you ever owned any Jays? What was your first pair of Jordans? What's your favorite pair of Jordans? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you a Ben Affleck fan? Are you hyped for this movie? Are you going to go see it? And, uh, yeah.
I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this one. Shout out to Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Oh, one more thing. I think it was a great idea. I think it was a great idea to decide not to have somebody portray Jordan in the movie and put a Jordan, an actor playing Jordan in the movie. I think that is the absolute right call. I, I think his logic was right on point because people are just going to look at this like, you can't, you cannot create, recreate Michael Jordan in the movie. Don't even try it. People ain't going to buy it. People are not going to buy it. I, I think that's a great idea. Because for the longest, I was wondering, I was like, is Jordan actually going to be in a movie? You, you know how heavily people are going to critique that? You, nobody's going to be happy. You're not going to make anybody happy with somebody portraying Michael Jordan. I think that was the absolute, absolute right idea. So shout out to Ben Affleck and Matt, Matt Damon for coming to that, that conclusion. All right? Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. Catch you on the next one. We out, baby.